Hi, we're Chris and Kirsty. In this episode, our local guide Aries will take us on an unforgettable journey around East Java, a hidden gem of Indonesia, and a playground of adventure, breathtaking landscapes, and epic volcanoes. Well, everyone, it's officially our first day here in East Java and we arrived here late last night at about 1.30 a.m. in the morning so we're very tired today and we're making our first adventure down to our first waterfall. Yes, we're going down towards Kapas Baru which is a waterfall near Tumpak Sawu actually, the one that everyone seems to know. Um, this is a lesser known, in fact so far we've seen no other tourists, just locals who seem extremely intrigued to see us. Everyone's <laughs> local here, yeah, it's crazy. So obviously <laughs> we're in the right area, which is good. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful so far. It's a little bit tricky. We were told it was an easy trek down. There's a couple of ladders, a couple of steep slopes, but it is only a half an hour walk apparently. So fingers crossed it'll be worth it. Fingers crossed and we'll show you around. So we've had a really early start today. We were up at 5 a.m. or just before 5, left here our homestay at 5 a.m. to two secret spots for sunrise. Chris is just tucking into his banana pancakes. Wow. Very They're good. very good, yeah, and definitely needed for the day ahead. So we started, we went to Mount Sameru or Sameru Volcano, and then also on to a viewpoint where we saw Kapas Baru from above. Obviously yesterday, if you remember, we hiked down to the bottom of it. So it was really, really cool to see it from a different angle this morning. And it was just breathtaking. Like the scenery, everything around this area is just mind blowing. That's right guys, yeah. When we say breathtaking, it truly was breathtaking like mm -hmm. absolutely we couldn't believe it yeah you, know, you see it on your phones and stuff like that but when you see it in real life wow yeah like the little puffs of of smoke and ash that are coming from the top of the volcano you just can't believe it it's so cool anyway we're just having a little bit of breakfast before we head to tumpak sawu obviously we need the energy so banana pancakes are the way forward they're so good here guys um so we're gonna eat up now and then head to tumpak sawu here we go <laughs> So today we're off to Tempak Sawu and our tour guide from the homestay is taking us to the scenic route. This hike was a bit adventurous to say the least, climbing over waterfalls and clambering over rocks. Instead of heading down to Tumpak Sawu via the entrance route, our guide brought us to the waterfall via a different route which passed Nawana Waterfall on the way. So don't miss this one out on your trip guys, it's just beyond Tumpak Sawu and is missed by most tourists. On the Tumpak Sawu Trail, we are at Nirwana Waterfall. Right. Um, turns out that the sketchy trek, the little detour that we were being taken on, turned out to be indeed very, very sketchy and at times very scary. Um, we knew that the Tumpak Sawu walk down to the waterfall was quite sketchy itself, but trust me when I say that is more sketchy. Uh, super fun though. Very sketchy, yeah. <laughs> Wow, 
Hello everyone, we are just walking into Tempak Suru now after visiting various other waterfalls along the way. We have finally made it and wow, you can feel the mist and you can hear the power from the waterfall already. So let's take a look. So we've arrived here in Bromo. It took us about four and a half hours in the end to get here. Uh, quite uphill. I think we're about seven and a half thousand feet above sea level. So pretty high up at the minute and we're certainly feeling it. We can feel it in our heads. We're feeling a bit quite heady at the minute. Um, but it's about nine o'clock now. We've just been for a bit of dinner. We're very tired and we've just been told we've got to be up at 2 a.m for sunrise at Mount Bromo. So we're gonna hit the sack and we'll bring you along with us in the morning. And it's an early start, so you better be ready guys, all right? The next morning we were up at 2 a.m. headed to the sunrise point. Morning. Morning. It was freezing and also difficult to breathe, perhaps due to the altitude. But anyways, we were super unlucky with the weather, which was gutting. Well, that guys was frankly awful. Sorry guys, this clip is practically unusable as the wind was so loud here, but basically we are talking about it being so dusty and so we are wearing our sunglasses to protect our eyes. It's also still very cloudy at this point. We are also continually being asked if we would like to take a horse to the top, which you can do, but we would rather use our legs as we don't particularly agree with it. But let's start our ascent up to the crater. <laughs> Yeah, so halfway up now, you can really smell it now. The volcano, like the sulfur, all like it's like a burning smell, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's horrible and really like takes your breath away. Yes, we only have uh, a load of steps to go all the way up to the crater. The stairs. <laughs> well guys we've made it to the top and unfortunately it started raining. We have big plans to get the drone up, get some good shots, but we literally got up there, it started raining and it's got cloudy. And if you can just see it behind like us, you probably you hear, can't it. hear it. <laughs> the it's, smell. And the air quality up here is really bad. Really bad, yeah. It's like really uh, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It smells like rotten egg. Yeah. It's like sulfur smell. Mm -hmm. and it really gets up your nose. You probably Even the camera's fogging much. up now, look. Camera's fogging up, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, it is intense oh. up here. We're trying to move along a bit, but I don't think we're going to be able to see much, unfortunately. But we made it to the top. Yay! So that's a wrap on today's vlog. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next adventure.